to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermango Long, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I appreciate you coming along and always enjoy the journey. Today's topic is, unfortunately, my business is failing. Uh, and the scripture I'm using to support uh, my thoughts today is Psalms 36, verse 6. Uh, and the scripture reads, Thy righteousness is like a great mountain. Thy judgments are a great deep. O Lord, thou preservest man and beast. My thoughts today is, it's taken so much uh, to get to this point. Um, and I know a lot of people really don't see, and it's okay. Um, but, you know, with anything you do, it takes a lot of hard work. Um, and, and so with that being said, this part of it right here, thinking of God and the righteousness of God, you know, to obtain that righteousness, we couldn't attain. It's like climbing 30 Mount Everest in one, you know, uh, <laughs> one uh, journey. Uh, and that's probably the hardest thing to ever do. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, think about doing that 30 or 300 or 3000, uh, times in, in one, one go, you know, it's, it's not likely it's going to happen, you know, so we don't get to the top of the mountain without God. And I couldn't get to the top of the mountain without the people that I have around me here. And that didn't start by just, uh, stepping in here day one and saying, hey, I'm, a, I'm arrived, help me get to the top. No, it, it took me reaching out to each individual person, you know, and building that relationship, you know, and walking along with them and trying to get an understanding of them and their needs and understanding of them and their culture. And this would allow me to, you know, integrate myself within this community as well and, you know, continue to walk forward because, uh, you know, uh, it's not a, it's not a huge difference, but you know between African Americans and then Africans uh, that's here on the continent. Uh, but you know it's a lot of things that we don't know about each other, and the uh, easiest thing to do is you know take that time and try to understand each other before you know before just trying to rush into anything as far as business and things of that nature is concerned, um, and just. Thinking back on the scripture, that judgments are a great deep. Uh, to be judged by God for the the minute detail of the sin that you were in is, you know, terrifying. Uh, you know, it's not only did you commit adultery; it's to, you know, look at a woman with lust. Just think about the depth of your thoughts and the the sin that surrounds those thoughts. You know. Um, me just trying to keep my my focus on what he wants me to do here and try to, you know, limit my my thought gaze, you know, because it's easily just to to zoom off and thought and be somewhere you shouldn't be. So, uh, like I say, um, that's my topic today uh, was unfortunately my business is failing, but the business that is failing is me keeping my eyes on God. If I'm not keeping my eyes on God, then my business is off track. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something out of the lane that he has put me in. The only reason I'm here is because of him. And the only reason I'm succeeding is because of him. So, and the last part, Oh Lord, that preserveth man and beast. This is an amazing part that, you know, God loves me and he's going to keep me uh, as the birds in the air and the fish in the sea. He thought enough of me to keep me. Um, so with that being said, as always, um, enjoy the journey. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, please, if you can, subscribe. I want to take this farther. I want to do more and I'm going to show you guys more when it gets done. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Enjoy your day.